Well, a very warm welcome back to the Impact Arena here in Bangkok. You're watching the Yonex Thai Open in the company of me, Trevor Harris. We've got one more match to go in our morning session, so to speak, and then five more with Shazad Hat coming up. If you've been with us from the start, well, this is what you'd have seen. Straightforward wins for Katatong and then Polly and Raheyu in the women's doubles. Men's doubles was a fascinating match, actually. Rankovic and Shetty had to steal themselves after losing the first game. And in the mixed doubles, Tang and Say have just come through against the Sumi and Siki Reddy, husband and wife pairing. Well, for us, it's women's doubles. We showed you one match earlier on, and here's how this particular section of the draw works out. You can see the players are on their way, which is always good. Reza Oshman Omi from Iran. This is Acherina and Muratsova from Russia. And there is uh, Vivian Hu and Yap Cheng Wen from Malaysia. First meeting, as you can see. Well, on paper at least, the Malaysians look to have a stronger pairing against the Russians, currently ranked down at 42. They have been in the top 20, though, so this is uh, no certainty. Anastasia Akcharina, 28 years of age now. She actually won a European Junior Championship in women's doubles way back. That was 12 years ago, can you believe? Where does the time go? That was with the Romina... Gabdelina and her partner is 25 year old Olga Moritzova from Yekaterinburg won a European Championship bronze in 2017 they won the Russian Open the year before that as a pair four other international titles she's actually a former Russian Open finalist in mixed doubles Moritzova On the other side of the net, let's look first at Vivian Hu. 30 now is Vivian. They have been up as high as nine, but that was with Wun Kei Wei back in 2015. She won the 2014 and 2018 Commonwealth Games with Wun Kei Wei. Sorry, one of them with Wun Kei Wei, the other with Xiao Mei Quan. And there's Yap Cheng Wen, just five foot one, the left hander. Former Macau Open champion with Vivian Hu. She actually won the Scottish Open two years ago with Lim Yin Lu. And she's four years younger than her partner.
And in charge is Reza Roshan Omid from Iran. Emmanuel Kabatsile from Botswana is in the service judges chair. So, just about ready for the umpire's introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, to my right, Yap Chen Wen and Vivian Ho, Malaysia. And my left, Olga Murozova and Anastasia Akchurina, Russia. Olga Murozova to serve to Yap Chen Wen. Love all. Play. So, the first ever meeting between these two pairs. Look at the starters. Cleverly done. I don't think that One. Lock. the Yap Cheng Wen was expecting that first up. Well, I can't blame her for trying it again. It Just a bit One, two, long that time. Interesting tactics, though, from the Russian pair. Well, it's complete confusion. Two, <laughs> They're leading it to each other, the European players there. Let's watch this. Yours, mine, yours. That really is a clever shot. Four, two. Look at the artistry of this. Just where they least expected it. Precision. Excellent defence, really good defence from Akshorina. Three, four. Did a string but managed to get back. <laughs> that was very good from Yap. Save is over. 
And they won Five. the point. Three. Sometimes it can be a bit of a distraction from the other pair when you see a player doing that. Six, three. Work at the Same net over. from Moritz over. Four, six. It's interesting, the way that the Russians have served so far, the short serve would Five, not be seen as a, something of a surprise option. And they got themselves right back into this opening game after a, a bit of a slack start. Well, the longest rally of the match. It's uh, starting to be a lot more Seven. of a struggle for Yap and Hu than it was in the early stage of this game. But in the end, it was uh, just an error. <laughs> 68 shots it was. By distance, the longest of the match so far. Very well spotted. Eight, five. That was just unbelievable. So it looked absolutely certain Five. that the Russian pair were going to win that point. And they just couldn't put it put it away. In the end, they paid for it. Really resolute, though, from both of the Malaysians.
Oh. Watched it like a whore. Good judgment. Ten. Five. At the body will do, and it's an 11 6 lead 11. for the Malaysians Six. at the interval. I don't think it's that Hu and Yap have, have been at their absolute best. They haven't had to be. They've just shown a little bit more now to date than the Russians. Not that uh, Akcharina and Moritz Labour have played badly. Just a string of errors now, isn't it, from the Russians? 13, 6. The points are, the rallies rather are generally fairly lengthy, but I think the Malaysians just basically said, OK, we'll just wait and stay in and hang in. And we suspect the mistake will come from the other side of the net, and so far they're right. Set. It's better, though. Seven Real seven. venom in that shot from Akcharina. 7, 13. Worked Seven so seven. hard for it and then gave 14, it straight away. Seven. <laughs> yeah, well anticipated. Got to the net quickly at Charina. Knew exactly eight, where that was going. 14. Put it away with great aplomb. Oh. 
Tevi ste ovde. 15, 8. Shot inside the tram lines there. 16, 8. It's got the right amount of angle, and there wasn't a lot of margin for error there. See where Moritz Over was standing. suddenly become a little bit one-sided, hasn't it? Too much air on that and allowed Hu to get across very easily. Nothing that Moritzova could do. Save it over. 9 18. That really is a wonderful touch. It really is. And it left Monatsova scrambling Nine. on the court to get to a, sh a shuttle she was never ever going to reach. That really is wonderful little, just a turn of the wrist. It's great technique, great creative invention as well. Visualize the shot. So that error brings up 10 Seven game 20. points game for point. the Malaysian Ten. pair. Didn't take long, did it? 21 points to 10. After Mumbai, kind of an evenish start, Ho, the class of Hu Yap and Yap ben ben. took control. One, For the loss of just 10 points, they have the opening game safely in the bank.
Court 2, 20 seconds. Court 2, 20 seconds. Second game, love of play. So can the Russians find a fight back here? Really think they're going to have to make a good start in this game for that to happen. One. Because if they if they trailing significantly early, very hard to see a way back. Two, love. It was very cleanly struck by Yap Cheng Wen. And she's in again to pick up Three, the pieces. Love. Desperation Four, about the Russian body language. They looked despairingly towards the coach. Not a lot he can do. Four. Well, she might have finished Five. the rally off earlier, Four. yeah, but. Uh, Made sure that time. <laughs> Suddenly got an extra few miles an hour, haven't they, into their shots, both Vivian Hu and Yap Cheng Wen. Low. be a sense of relief because no one Seven, is really happy till you get one, a point on the ball we'll be at 6-1 down Well, that's 
Seven. Almost. Two. Almost to Hina's crime. Dropped the first game well behind in the second and then a soft point like that. Much better. Seven over. From Akshirina and Moritz over. Three, seven. What? Seven four ball. Too high. Seven over. Well, that's a couple of really Eight. disappointing errors. Three. Off the serve. This was too high, spotted by the service judge, above 1.15 metres. Service over. Four, eight. Well, it's a classy rally from the two Malaysians. Nine. After a Five. series of really short rallies at the start of this game, Russians at least have got themselves back together a little bit, having trailed six love, remember. Stunning deception Five. from Yap, it really is. Completely bamboozled both the Russians. Just took all the pace off it. Flick the top of Six. Yaps racket. Ten. Just there. So 11-6 at the interval. It's a very 11, handy lead for the Malaysians. Thank you. 
Corto, 20 seconds. Corto, 20 seconds. Ah! Eleven, six. Play. So now or never for the two Russians, got to find some inspiration from somewhere. They want to keep their participation alive. That will help their cause. Unexpected, unforced error. Thank you. Just as well it did Seven. go in the net because <laughs> Akshawini was on the deck. Well, you certainly can't criticise act either Actuarina or Moritz Haber's lack of effort. They've given it absolutely everything, but it just must be a little demoralising. Just can't get any kind of concerted pressure at all on the two Malaysians. And the scoreboard has a serious look about it from their point of view. That is a stunning shot. Where did that come from? Four, she three, actually failed seven. to put away a couple of much easier smashes a few points ago from close range, but this is brilliant. Backpedaling slightly Beautiful. and to get the angle and the power. Perfect. Almost surprised when there's uh, an error from that side of the net. Too high. Well, you couldn't make Service this up, over. really, could you? Fifteen, eight. Squandering points like this. White. 16, 8. Hey. Oh. It's a procession of points at the moment, isn't it? 
And four more 70, will take them through to the last eight. 16. Well, it's a pity because it was the right shot. Just got the execution off. slightly wrong. Nine, seven. Service over. 18, 9. Virtually touching the net, wasn't she? When she made the error. Yeah. Service over. 10, 18. Well, what a pity. That was one of the best rallies of the match. But it rather sums up the way the day's gone for 19, Anastasia Akshirina and Olga Moritzova. Right in that, the whole way through. And then the error at the end after a really entertaining rally. The end would appear to be night for the Europeans. Yeah. And indeed, here are 20, 10 match points match point. Ten. for the Malaysians. Just a fraction long. Service over. Probably 11, just a 20. temporary reprieve. All yeah. over. 21 11 in that second game. It was a pretty one sided display, in all honesty. Akshirina and Moritzova just completely outclassed by, by Vivian Hu and Yap Cheng Wen, and Yap Cheng Wen, who were 21, 10, 21, pretty much 11. faultless throughout. Very few unforced errors from them. Obviously, tougher tests will lie ahead, but you can only beat who they put in front of you, and they've done that convincingly. 21, 10, 21, 11 in just 38 minutes on court. Well, stay tuned. We've got five more matches coming up live. You'll be in the company of Shazad Hack for those. For me, for Trevor Harris, for now, it's bye-bye, but stay watching.